All right, what is going on, people? Welcome back to another part of my playthrough of Spyro, You're the Dragon. Uh, I think I'm going to 100% it tonight. Yep, only got a few levels left here, so I'm going to be wrapping it up. But, um, I was just watching one of Darius' streams, um, and somebody brought up something interesting in the chat uh, about somebody, like, getting rid of their games because some woman told them to. And I thought that might be an interesting topic to kind of delve into. Um, men, I don't know what it is about men, but most men are fucking idiots. All right, They think with their penis instead of their heads. Like, I'll be damned if some woman is going to tell me, like, I, I mean, I can, only, I can only speak for myself, right? But I'd be damned if I'm about to be let some random girl tell me, like, oh, you need to get rid of that, you need to get rid of this. Like, look, until you start paying my bills, I don't care what you say. Like, I ain't getting rid of shit. If I like this, then fuck off. Like, that's nuts. Getting rid of your entire video game collection because some girl wants you to. Fuck that. You're fucking nuts. Like, I can- I mean, I can only speak for myself, right, but... I don't know. I don't know what it is about men. Like, they're just so desperate to get with women. That they're just willing to do anything. I'm really thankful that I'm not interested in dating anybody or having sex or anything like that because that's like some people that's all they think about oh i gotta have sex i gotta go out and get laid right now i gotta go i gotta, I gotta do it i gotta do it and they're just they're so desperate they're gonna do anything why it's just i don't get it man it's fucking crazy what's going on dark just kind of talking about a little topic right now about to 100 percent this game i'm only got a few levels left. This is it. Everything else is 100%ed. So I just gotta work on the frozen altars and then the, uh, the last hub world. And that's it. But, figured I'd go ahead and stream the, uh, stream the end here. Alright, so... Yep, 90%. Yeah, I figured that out when I was playing around with this last night, and that's when I left off, because I was, like, looking around, trying to figure out, and then it, it dawned on me, I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot, I can just use my freeze breath here, because that's why they keep this character right here, so you can ice him, and then you can fly over here. Because I was looking for a platform when I was going through this before. I, w I wasn't doing it right, I forgot that you can just freeze the characters. Bunch of gems there. Very nice. Okay, and there's more over there. And there's the egg down there. Be careful here. And then I think from here, I, yeah, I can fly over there, too. Looks like it. Alright, let's go get this egg. Egg's more important than the gems. So what does that bring me up to now? Still 90%, but we got 84% on this now. Still got to box the Yeti, and there's still one more mystery. But I'm close on the gems here. Refreeze him. Jump over here. There we go. That's it? There's only a couple over here? Really? Alright, Sparks will show me where there's some more. Right over here, okay. Oh, well, that's all of them. There you go. Alright, that's all the gems. Alright, 
he's dead. It would be easy to get up to that treasure if you had something to stand on. Yeah, that's his uh his little hint there to get up here. I didn't I don't know why it didn't dawn on me to freeze the other guy. Got all the gems. Alright, so... Where's that secret level that I need to get to? To the uh, box the Yeti. Is it in here? No, I did this one. Yeah, this is the ice hockey one. I tried Pal World. I don't even know what that is. It's some something going viral and people are mentioning it, but I don't even know what it is. Ah, here's here's where I got a box of Yeti. Right in here. I have just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. That damn Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back and you'd kick his lousy butt, but he wouldn't listen. All right. I knew you'd do it. Let's kick his ass. Not to mess he took his us. ball. Let's Remember fuck him up. And hit him low when he tries to block. Remember to block his high punches and hit him low when he tries to block. X button for a body blow, circle button for the big hookaroo, and the triangle button to block high. Bentley blocks low automatically. Press the square button for a quick jab, X button for a body blow, circle for the big hookaroo, triangle to block high. Okay. Jab. So I just gotta worry about. The main button, square, X, circle, and triangle, okay. It take me a minute to fuck him up, but... Okay, that's your that's your strong attack. It works just like boxing, uh, regular boxing video games. You just mash buttons until you win. There you go. <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't my ball. It's an egg. Make him give me my ball back. Fight the Yeti again? Is there a it's point in fighting him again? Three round match. And when you win, oh, okay. don't let him send you off with a stupid egg. Okay. Box the Yeti again. Yeah, that's the last egg. Okay, I'll have 100% of this if I uh, beat him here. Mash those buttons, damn it. Mash them good. Yeah, he, look at them. You don't even have a chance. I just keep hitting them over and over and over again. Fuck them up.
<laughs> this is insane, man. You don't have a chance. <laughs> wow. Only two more rounds to go. You're doing great. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm just mashing X and square. <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh, he's not even trying no more. He's like, I give up. <laughs> wow. Hey, this isn't my ball. It's just another stupid egg. I got a skill point for that too. You mess you mesh square and X. Congratulations. Here's a skill point. Wow, that was way too easy. Alright, well, I got that 100%ed. Alright, we're on to the last hub world here. Yep, another one of those viral games just like for- Oh, then I don't care about that shit then. Just another trendy, stupid game. Who cares? But anyway, back onto that rant, uh about um basically men being dumb men thinking with their penises instead of their brains um i don't know man it's just crazy how quick men are just willing to just sacrifice everything just to have just to get with a woman it's just ridiculous um i mean it's it's kind of funny because like you know women a lot of women too are just so quick to to try to fuck people over too, like literally just fuck them over. Like they'll they'll have kids with you, like they're like, oh yeah, let's let's have kids. I'll get rid of all my video game collections. It's time to grow up, right? Time to grow up. And then they get rid of everything they like, everything they love, everything they cherish to be with this woman, thinking, oh, that's the right thing to do. And then they have kids, and then the the woman turns around, you end up getting a divorce because some petty dispute or whatever. And now you have to you know, pay 18 years of child support and give up half of everything you own. And it's funny because women nowadays are all on about this, um, what do you, what do you call it? The, the whole era of independence, right? Women are always going to, oh, I want to be independent. Yeah, you want to be independent until it comes to taking child support and just basically fucking men over, right? And and then they turn around and wonder why nobody wants to get with women anymore. It's like, well, some people just rather go their own way. Isn't that the whole MGTOW movement thing? The men going their own way? And then some people are like, oh, that's an incel. Like, that's not even what an incel is. It's like literally you saying, I don't want to have anything to do with this nonsense. Why even take the risk? Some people are smart enough to just jack off and get it over with. Like, you know, they don't even need that stuff. They don't need to have sex. And then they're like, well, that's... Well, then, the, the world population's gonna go down. Like, no, trust me. The world's not gonna be in danger of, you know, losing its population anytime soon. There's how many billions of people in this world? And don't worry, the poor and the stupid are gonna continue to keep this world populated anyway. Because you notice that. I, I don't know if you've ever noticed that, Dark. It's always the poorest people who have the most children. You have like these these really poor people and they have like six kids and then they're they're on their way to having a seventh kid. And the government supports that. The government just supports women just going around and just pumping out kids like they're a baby factory. It's just fucking insane. And that's that's what your tax money's going to. This whole world is just so fucking dumb. That's the world we live in. <laughs> this whole world is just completely backwards. So, have I even been to the Harbor Speedway? Oh, I haven't, have I? I want to go to the Harbor Speedway then. 
Yep, it's pretty stupid, man. It's pretty stupid. I'm just glad that I'm asexual and not interested in having sex with anybody. I'll happily go and fuck myself, thank you very much. <laughs> you still don't have to worry about somebody trying to screw me over. World famous Harbor Speedway. The most elite of all race courses. Only the world's top racers are allowed to compete here. Local champions are a group of blue footed bobbies who have never lost a race. Race the. Okay, so. Well, let's do the time attack first. I always usually do the time attack first. The easiest way to beat this time trial is to do it in the following order. Seagulls, arches, lobsters, fish. I just always do it in whatever order looks like it's kind of designed to... Burn. Oh, shit. Hold on, hang on, let me... I wasn't quite ready. I didn't expect it to be, like, right away, right there. I gotta aim down right away. There we go. Yeah, I do it in whatever order it looks like the developers kind of intended for you to do it. And it usually ends up working out quite well for me. Wait, where are the other? Where's the last one? Well, I fucked it up now, but where's the last arch? Is it all the way, like, before you even start? It is, isn't it? I think it is. This is right by that island here. Yeah, okay, so let's not even worry about that first, son. the last one? Did I miss him? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on, Spyro. Yeah, there you go. Break it. Fuck it. I don't think I'm gonna get this now. Fucked up too much. Is there still one whole... Yeah, there's still one other group of things, so I'm not gonna get this. What antivirus program do you recommend? None. Try not going on malicious websites. Windows Defender does a good enough job on its own. I don't really think you need anything else. Not like it used to be. If this was like 2002, then I'd recommend something, but if not, <laughs> you don't really need anything else. Just don't go on really shady websites. Yeah, I I don't remember the last time I've used an anti uh, antivirus program. All it does is just take up precious resources on your computer. It's pretty much all it's good for. This one's kind of tough. I mean, it should be tough, right? Because it's the last one in the game. Oh, fuck, and there's still... Oh, this is an even worse route than the last one I took. What did he suggest I go for first? Seagulls first, then the arches. Yeah, 
Yeah, because then, right when you're there, boom. Through the arches. I mean, it doesn't really have you taking any crazy paths or anything, but... You just really gotta be on your A-game. Like, you, you just gotta do it in the order the developers intended for you to do it. And it looks like the lobsters are probably a good one to do next. these guys. Yeah, that does work out better for me that way. There we go. Like when you download those games for the Dolphin emulator, you download it with without malicious shit. Um, I don't know. I just got them from, uh, from Level 1 Online. He's the one that sent those files to me. I didn't even ask him what program it was, so... Or, like, where he got him from. Whatever, too late now. Fuck it. Oh, well. Not like I really plan on playing anything else anyway, in terms of, um... You know, GameCube stuff. After Metroid Prime 2, I think that's it. I think I'm done. Because, um, there's not really too much stuff on the GameCube that I really like. I mean, there's just those select few games that I really enjoy and that run really well on there. And I don't know, maybe if I ever really want to go back to it, like if, if, if Nintendo would stop being lazy and get off their fucking asses and start putting out some more, uh, ports, maybe I'll, maybe I will get a Switch. I don't know. Because it would run probably even better than... Emulating it on the Series S. Wouldn't be as glitchy anyway. But stuff, stuff like Metroid Prime 2, they still haven't ported it to the Switch, so I don't know. And, oh yeah, and speaking of these races, though. Um, that first one, or was it the second one? I don't know, whatever one that I said I couldn't do. Yeah, I think it was this one, the Country Speedway one. All I had to do was I, I just went and um, went through all the, uh, the the speed boosts. You just had to hit every single speed boost you could find. And I was able to clear it. That's what you really had to do. I'm assuming it's probably going to be like the same way here. Probably just going to hit all the speed boosts. There's, oh, there's several of them right there. And then if you ever end up... Like, don't go out of your way to get those rockets, because it's not worth the time it takes. Oops. Oh, I missed one down there. Yeah, if Nintendo would start putting out some more freaking games for the- Damn it, I went to go and get that speed boost, but... Yeah, if Nintendo would ever start putting out some, uh, some more games for the Switch, then, you know... If the Switch 2 ends up being backwards compatible, I'll, I'll probably get a Switch 2. And then I'll probably just use that to play my classic games that I like for the GameCube. Because I don't- I, The only reason I'm not really playing the GameCube all that much is because... Like, as I have a GameCube, but, like, it's so, you know, it's it's so freaking, uh, it's kind of valuable now. I don't really want to burn up the laser on it. It actually still looks alright on my, uh, big screen. Even through the regular cables, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as something like a PS2 with the regular cables. So, I don't really care. I mean, I, I think I've got enough GameCube games on my Series S at this point. I don't really want any more on there anyway.
But if Nintendo, would, you know, if Nintendo ends up making the Switch 2 backwards compatible and they start putting out some more GameCube-related stuff, then, you know, maybe I'll pick that up. But, you know, I'm not really that fond of Nintendo to begin with, though, so... I mainly like my PlayStation and Xbox more than anything else. God, it's so hard to control Spyro when you go through the speed boost. You almost can't move when you go through him because he just flies. And he just soars like crazy. The hell was that stutter there? Jesus, you see what I mean? Like, he's, I almost missed that ring because it's hard to figure out where he's going to end up. What was that move right there? Did you see what that bird did? What the fuck? Why is it stuttery like that? You see that shit? It, like, stutters. Randomly. Really freaking annoying. We're going to put the player in a really high speed race, and then it's going to stutter like hell. Oh yeah, it sounds like a great idea, Bob. Let's do that. High speed stuttery race because the CPU in the system is trash. I don't know what Sony was thinking with these fucking Jaguar CPUs. It's absolutely terrible. Yeah, I can see I got like almost got second. You really gotta hit, like, every fucking speed boost to win these races. It's retarded. Can't do it any other way. You have to hit these speed boosts. I don't know, though, uh, Dark. I mean, maybe try, like, something like Pirate Bay or something if you want to emulate more stuff. I mean, there are sites out there, you know that. If I really wanted to, I could easily figure it out myself and put the files on there. I already know how to put the... It's a... I know the GameCube files are a, GZ, a GCZ file or something like that. I could tell you the exact file type name. I still got them on my PC. And then all you gotta do is just upload them to your Xbox, remote, remote into your Xbox, and then... Upload the files to it. I mean, it's really easy once you have it set up for it. It's not hard at all. Setting it up is a pain in the ass, but once you got it set up, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know if you're planning on doing something like that, but... No, but I don't want to get malware. Well, go on to a reputable ROM site. That's all you gotta do. See, he's so hard to control when you go through him. That's the problem. It's almost like you're taking a risk, but you have to do that if you actually want to win. You can't really go through this any other way. Oh, I didn't gobble it up, are you kidding me? So crazy, man.
Ah, Spyro. This is the last lab. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him. I mean, I know I can get the guy in second, but I don't know about the guy in first. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, go, Spyro, go. Fuck. Get his fucking ass. Burn it. Burn his fucking feathers off, Spyro, go. Oh, he's actually technically quicker than you. You really have to use this. Hey, look at that. I got it. Yes, barely, but I got it. Holy shit. This is intense. Yeah, there's no other way to do it. You have to go through the speed boost, like as many as you can get. That's the key. I'm not going for the course record, I'm going to get uh, Hunter. Hunter's Pursuit. I need to find Hunter. Just gotta find where Hunter is at. Go up here, huh? Is he in here? The lighthouse? No, oh, doesn't look like it. I wonder why he even let you go in here. Oh, here he is. He's on the other side. Where do these flying sheep saucers keep coming from? I just saw another one grab an egg and fly off. This one's super fast, but his saucer is damaged, and it's leaving smoke rings. I think I can keep up with them as long as I can make it through those rings. I'm gonna chase him down. Should a hunter chase the sheep UFO? Hurry up already. I'll be right back. Nah, it's only an egg. That's, that's one of the options you can say. No, it's only an egg. You have to go through these? I guess so. Uh, it's only my main objective. In other words, that's basically what the option was. It's only an egg. It's only my main objective. Ooh, I'm right on his ass now. It's actually pretty quick. Oh shit, I missed one. Where do these flying sheep so I'm gonna chase him? He turns to the right right, right away. Down. You can't miss a single one. Because I'm so close behind him now. There's no room for error. Oh, see what I mean? There is no room for error there. Because I'm like right behind him. 
you're even a smidge off, that's it, it's over. Kinda brutal. Get him. Fuck him up, Hunter. He's right on him. Just kill him. Reach out and grab his fin at this point. Oh, Jesus. Where are these flying sh I'm gonna. I'll be right. Man, that's tough. Especially if you don't know his path. Like. If you don't know where he's gonna fly to, then it's kinda hard to do it. It's almost like you, you almost have to know where he's gonna go. There's no other way to do it. You have to either be really good at predicting, or you have to do it multiple times to know where he's gonna go. Maybe that's what the intention there, I don't know. turns into here. Okay. Yes! That was close. The egg popped out just before the saucer crash landed. Oh, how convenient. Okay, so I got them all done. Alright, so we're done with this level. Alright, so that's another one off the list. What I got now, like 94% completion? We got less than a thousand gems to go. This is it, man. Final home stretch. I'm excited. I'm ready for that plat. I'm ready for that platinum. I'm partying like it's 2024, man. Yeah, a couple days ago, I really was not feeling good at all, so... I had to lay down. <laughs> Sinus headache was fucking brutal. On the plus side, I did feel quite refreshed the other day. You know, the the day after that. It's a secret. Well, indeed it is. How am I supposed to know what what the secret is if I don't even know where anything's at? Let's have Sparks guy made some more gems here. Something right below me, huh? Can I do this now? Just before you kicked the sorceress's big, fat, ugly butt, she built a factory to make robotic bugs. They're meant to fight sparks, but I don't think they're any match for him. Enter the bug bat factory bonus world? Yes. Alright, I wasn't sure if I could do this yet or not. So technically, wait a minute. If this is, uh, the last bonus world, right? then you don't even have to 100% complete the game. You just have to do all the little side stuff. Because I wasn't sure if I'd have to 100% this game and then go into that other world where the where you fight the sorceress a second time, or if I could do this right away. And since I can get into here right away, 
technically, you don't even have to actually fully complete the game to platinum it. Because look. Go up here. We go through the desert ruins, find both the butterfly jars, go into the haunted tomb, and destroy all the, uh, the mummies. Nice shooting text. Agent 9 defeat an enemy with a ricochet shot. Agent 9's lab as Agent 9 shoot down all the balloons. And then you go through as Sparks and complete this finest, the final bonus world here. And that's it. You got the Platinum. You don't even have to 100% the game. You just have to do all this extra side stuff. I'm going to 100% it anyway. Get back here, you little shit. Can I hit him? Cause I don't think I, I I don't think I can shoot quick enough. I can run into him though. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Anyone got him, Sparks? Yes. Okay. That's what you gotta do. All right. That's what I was looking for. One of these. I'd rather not run into that so I can go back and heal if I need to. Get back here. So what else is going on, Dark? Anything? Anything exciting going on? Anything you want to talk about tonight? It's going to be a pretty chill stream tonight. Oh shit, there's a lot of guys here. Let me go back and heal. Hopefully those butterflies don't despawn. I'm about to find out. 
No, they don't. They're still here. Okay, there we go. There's another one over here, too. got all the gems. Only 500 away from getting all of them. That means that I um, should be close to the boss at this point. Very much so. Yup, here it is. Here's the final boss. Final boss for Sparks. kind of tough to hit, isn't he? You just have to hit each of his things a bunch of times. Oh, he split up into two. Two of himself. Huh. He's actually pretty easy, though. Yeah, he don't have much of an attack, to be honest. Also, just gotta avoid him. He just runs all over the place. Oh, lucky fucking hit there. That's the one problem he's not going to have much to hit now. Found it just the head. Come on, Sparks, just finish him off, man. Okay, it's one down. Okay, I got him. Nice. Hundred and forty eggs. Very nice. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed playing through Metro Prime 2 again, though. I gotta finish that one up. Still a good game. Even though I do get frustrated at points in it. It's still fun though. I would say it's probably my favorite GameCube game, if I'm being honest. Like overall, it's probably my favorite one. It's nice to have it on the Series S. One thing that does annoy the shit out of me with it is that stutter compilation crap. Compilation stutter. See if Nintendo would um, actually put out a remaster of that one, then that would be great. Then I could have a, a we could have a proper version of it without the stupid stutter, the compilation stutter. But they just take way too fucking long, and it's. All these remasters are so expensive. They put out that first one, it's $40, and they don't even really... It's like an Xbox 360 version. And they didn't really do any, like, extra enhancements. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have it in, like, a more modern sense or whatever, but... I don't know, I felt like that was kind of lazy. They could have done more. You know, maybe do a whole trilogy and then put it out for 40 bucks. Okay, that's fair. Have the, have the first three Metroid Prime games... Just like they did with the Wii. You know, except have it as a remaster. And then put it out 40 bucks. Okay, that's 
definitely fair. Even if they wanted to do it for, I would say, 50 bucks, I think that would still be fair. All three games, all remastered, modernized controls, that would be great. But, alas, they're going to take their sweet-ass time and do one at a time, so we'll probably get the next one in, I don't know, probably another two or three years. <laughs> Whatever. So, what's next? So, I don't know if I can really do anything else here. Do I have to clear more of the levels or whatever first? He's pointing down, so I don't... There's nothing down there, though, except death. Surprised I didn't get any bonus for completing that. I guess every other level you get something. You get a nice little upgrade or whatever. Yeah, I don't know where the hell he's pointing to. Alright, let's just go to the next one. Crystal Islands, I gotta get the rest of the gems here. Yeah, I didn't bother getting a Switch. I just figured, like, <laughs> that's pretty much going to be the next GameCube for me. I'm going to play, like, five games on it and then never touch it. <laughs> I already know that's exactly how it's going to end up being. I just don't really care too much for Nintendo's stuff. Get out of here. Is it under? Oh, yeah, there's gems under here. Ten more. There's ten more somewhere. What is the bonus thing I have to do here, anyway? I think there's one in each area, right? Hey, Drakeclaw. How's it going? Uh, I'm just ranting about different topics and, um... Trying to 100% this. No, there's nothing in Crystal Islands. There's nothing... Yeah, I already got the one here. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm just now realizing that you don't even have to, um, <laughs> you don't even have to actually 100% this game to get the Platinum. Because 
I was able to go right into the Sparks' bonus world and do that, so I thought maybe you'd have to 100% it and do that bonus area with the Sorceress, that second fight with the Sorceress, in order to unlock the Sparks' bonus world, but nope. So I'm able to just finish this up. That's definitely going to happen tonight, but I'm going to 100% the game anyway. Even though I don't need to, I'm going to do it anyway. So I can say I've 100 percent of the entire trilogy on here. Okay, there's something up above me, so I gotta get that super fly ability. I don't know if I can even remember how to get over there. I think you gotta go over here. Here's the last one. There we go. Alright, so... Desert Ruins. Give me a hand. Uh, I wasn't sure about Sparks' bonus world, Jericlaw. <laughs> Mr. Freethinker, hey man, what's going on? Power World is bad. I don't even think Dark Lizard's still here. I think he took off. But yeah, I was just kind of, at the start of this, I was ranting about, um, basically men thinking with their penises instead of their brains. Not gonna go back into it, but if you want to hear my rant about that for the first like 15 minutes or whatever, I was kind of talking about that off and on. Yeah, that's the one where you control sparks from a bird's eye view. Yep. All right, so what's the thing I have to do here? Oh, I hate how I have to keep scrolling all the way up. I hate that. Looks the shit out of me. Scroll all the way up and scroll all the way down. Find both butterfly jars, okay. There's two hidden lives here I can collect. Here's one of them. How do I get up there? Nothing to platform on. Go around. From up here, maybe? Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like maybe I had to go up here. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, well, there we go. Now I got both of them. This is the only one I didn't have. Alright. Dreadclaw says, as a gay man, I will say men are idiots. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, they are. Yeah, I was talking about... Basically, I was talking about how somebody gave up, like, all of their games or whatever for some random woman. Like, you don't know what that woman's gonna do, like, five years down the road. Is probably gonna fuck you over anyway. So is this the one I need to get on? The all these these hands? Is this the one I actually need to get on? There's one because it says uh, give me a hand. That's the last thing I need to do here. I think Sparks is probably gonna guide me around here. I think there's something else here though. Oh, there's the last egg. It's right over there. So I need to get up here then? Maybe? And then glide over there, right? Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like that's what I need to do. It's a really tough jump. There is like no leeway with that jump there. There we go. Barely make it, man. Just barely make it. Not that hand. Can I make it over here? I don't know. It looks like it's going to be tough. Yeah, there's no way. Well, that's not... So that's not the one. So is it the ones down there? Because that's like the only other ones I came across is the ones down that way. That doesn't look like it leads over anywhere. different path. It would have to be on the other side then, right? Go towards the end. Am I on the right path here then? Or do I need to turn around? Stop. Do I need to turn around? Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> you know this game better than I do. I can't type this fast. <laughs> Alright, man. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's kind of a chill stream anyway. Other way up the ladder. Which ladder? That one? Is that the one you're talking about? Yes, okay. Man, you must know this game by the back of your hand. That's kind of how I am with Sly 2. Cross the bridge and look right. Down that way? Am I able to... Oh, I can glide over to there, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, that's all the, uh, the, all the gems, and now I can glide over here. There's the last stick. Okay. Yeah, you really do know this game really well. That's that's how I am with uh, the Sly games. I played those way too much. This game, not so much, but... I, I do like the games, but... I'm gonna shower really quick. Okay. I'm gonna move on to the next area here. Haunted Tomb. So let me see what the last thing there is. 
I gotta defeat all the mummies or whatever, right? Where am I at now? 95%. Yep. And there's just two left. Alright, so I just gotta kick everybody's ass here then. Yeah, I just took a shower myself. Showered and changed. <laughs> I'm probably going to go pretty long tonight, actually. I'm planning on going for quite a while. I wanted to get myself padded up. <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably go for like five hours. It's going to be another ridiculously long live stream. I'm not going to be streaming this game the entire time. I'm going to change out games. Once I platinum it. Alright. So, can I... Destroy this, or... Oh, the lava rocks, yeah. Okay, so you can blow- you can destroy those then. Yeah, I forgot about that. The lava rocks are here. Okay. Ah, and they drop gems, too. So that's part of the 100% completion anyway. So you definitely want to keep one of these guys around, at least one of them. That way you can get the lava rocks. It's so funny whenever enemies try to charge up to you, like, do they not know that dragons beat everything? Like, dragons are, are the most superior species ever. You can't charge up to a dragon thinking your horns are gonna beat a dragon's horns. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Aw, oh, he got in my way. Oh, Asshole. Here, drop another one right here. I think once you get a certain distance, it looks like they spawn another one in. Drop another one, buddy. Thank you. Ah, I got it. Alright. Throw him. Throw another one, buddy. There we go. Alright, I'm ready for another one. This guy around for a bit. Until I know I got all the other stuff. Yep, there's another one right here. There we go. Hey, look at that. Very nice. There's still more stuff here, though. Clear the caves. Is that one of the bonus worlds? That must be one of the bonus worlds. Can't can't blame that guy. You have to um have to shoot him. Huh? Yep. Yeah, that weighs down to the Mario Mario Kart Speedway or whatever. What are 
those dogs are the funny hats, but a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple times. <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny, come to think of it. Oh, boy, that dog's gonna bang. Yeah, this must be the Behind area I need to clear. Door, a lot of five deadly trials of King Rover. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. I follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Fine. I'm sorry, my what? Simeon friend, but that was not even close. Perhaps behind this door, the fuck here's the riddle. I follow, follow you wherever you go, but the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Footsteps. My, my, you're quite clever oh. for someone well, with there so you go. little Footsteps. fashion sense. <laughs> you may proceed to the first trial. Uh, you leave. You leave a lot of time behind too. Time passes. I don't know, I, I think both of those probably would have worked, honestly, but whatever. Well, that was easy. Break those, huh? That counts towards your score. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I definitely haven't been through here yet. I do not remember doing this. I mean, time follows you wherever you go, and the more it passes, the more it gets left behind. I mean, time... I don't know, I, I kind of think that kind of would have worked, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. Damn, this blaster's strong, man. Shoot. You can shoot these things, too. The equivalent to the lava rocks, then, for Spyro. Oh my god, there's a room full of enemies here. Get blasted. Can't shoot these guys, though. Oh, you can actually pick these up. Well, how about that? I didn't even know. You could, like, throw them like grenades. How is he able to pick them up? They're lava rocks. It makes sense for a dragon to be able to put them in his mouth. He's a freaking dragon. He breathes fire, for fuck's sake. But how is... How is... What is he got, like, special kitchen gloves on or something? He's like... Oh, these are... These are heat-resistant. I don't think they're lava-resistant, though. Ah, whatever. I'm not taking too much into it. <laughs> it's still funny, though. I'm just gonna pick up this giant lava rock. Throw it at you. It's okay, I've got oven mitts on. Alright, well there we go. I got the 100% on this, too. Just a couple left.
Got to check and see what I got to do here. I think this one's the one for Agent 9, right? Pretty sure. Ninety-seven percent. Jeez, man. As Agent Nine defeat an enemy with a ricochet shot. Yeah, so we gotta play as Agent Nine here. Agent Nine's lab as Agent Nine shoot down all the balloons. So both are are for Agent Nine here, and then that's it. Then I've got it platinum. I have 72 of 700. 97% game completion. There's a hidden egg at the start. Where exactly? Like, right here? Like, right at the start? Or is it a little further up? Oh, I see there's something down there. How do I open that up? There's gems down there, so there's just probably that's probably where the egg is, right? Can't go around that way. Red building at the very start. Yeah, it's behind here, right? Like, I see gems down there, so I know there's, there's stuff over there. I don't know how to get past that barrel, though. I have to find a way around. Maybe I can get through this window? No. Go to the cliff and glide around it. You don't mean this cliff, do you? I can glide over past here. This looks like it. This looks like a death waiting to happen, but I'm gonna try it. Oh my god! Wow. Well, I would. I don't know if I would have been able to figure that one out without you telling me. Damn! I would have been trying to find a way to break this barrel. That looks really risky right there. How would you even, like, know to do that? Because it looks like, oh, no, you can't go this way. It's blocked off. Oh, man, that is... That's tight. That is really tight. Okay, so I got everything over there, then. Yeah, leap of faith. Yeah, that's definitely accurate. That's definitely a leap of faith. Looks like I think I got everything else here, actually. He's just guiding me into here now. The sheriff promised me I could be a deputy, so I'm off to help clear out all the dinosaurs! Everything else is easy here. Yeah. Well, this game's not even really that hard. Like, there's a couple, like, small little challenging sections or whatever, but this game is pretty easy overall. I mean, it's it's made for kids first and foremost, you know what I mean? So, Oh, look, Sheila's wanted, too. <laughs> All the characters in this are wanted, except for Spyro, apparently. So all I gotta do here is just hit an enemy with a ricochet shot. This looks like we're gonna have a gunfight out here. Expecting one of the dinosaurs to pop out of here. No? Wow, okay.
Yeah, I took a nap earlier, so I should be good to go for quite a while here. There, though? No? Okay. Six seventy of seven hundred. Stuff in there, but how do I get in there? Definitely directing me inside of here. I don't know, Sparks. I can't get in there, buddy. Where the hell is everybody at, anyway? It's a huge open area, and there's nobody here. Freaking uh, ghost town. Oh, okay, well, there's an egg. go in there. What the hell's the point of all that? After the next section, come back, get egg first. Well, I got the egg, so... <laughs> Confused. I'm Clearly, I'm missing something, but there's nothing else over there. I know you're probably cringing, like... I don't know, I'm just trying to break everything, trying to figure out, like, what the game exactly wants me to do. There's a couple gems there. Definitely nothing else over here. Like, I would expect there to be, like, enemies around here, right? Like, you would think, like, they'd pop out of these doors or whatever. He said he was gonna hunt down dinosaurs, but... Talk to the guy. At the start. Oh, maybe that's why... I, maybe that's why it's not triggering anything, because... Because I didn't officially, like, start the challenge or whatever. gang are holed up in them buildings over there. You're gonna have to go in there and flush them out. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I had to officially, like, st oh, it's an on-rail shooting section. <laughs> okay. Well, this is different. Alright, so I gotta kill one of them with a ricochet shot. There we go, I clearly did it. Did it twice, there we go. Now it triggered. Nice shoot, Tex. Yeah, I took a lot of damage because I was trying to get the ricochet shot. I needed the trophy. Thank you. 
It's alright, I should be good even with critical health. They're easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, nothing to it. Way too good for these guys. Way too quick on that trigger. Aw, oh, shit. He got me, though. One point in health. <laughs> One point in health. Oh man, I shot him, but I guess I didn't actually hit him. <laughs> nice death animation there. Yeah, I took a lot of damage when I uh, was trying to get that ricochet, though. Really kind of fucked me up. Oh, it took me all the way back here. That's weird. That's because I got a checkpoint after I got the egg. Make me go all the way back. If you just calm down for a second, well, good luck to you. All right, let's try this again. At least now I know what to expect from this. Such an awkward, like, camera layout. On-rail shooting games is pretty awkward to me. Because I, like, never play, like, on-rail shooters like this. These are, like, those classic FMV games. Like, those shitty FMV games. Unlike the CDI. <laughs> the Philips CDI. Everybody's favorite video game console. Kind of what this reminds me of, like those shitty early FMV games. Oh, that was bullshit. Oh, there we go. Skill point acquired. What did I even do? How did I earn all my health back and get an extra life? And... <laughs> and get a skill point. What did I do for that? I don't know, but it saved my ass, because... So many of these guys. They're easy, but the camera perspective kind of throws me off because I'm really not used to this. I don't know why the Bailey gang was trying so hard to steal this egg. That's not like them at all. I reckon someone must have put them up to it. I shot the hidden butterfly, I did. I didn't even know there was a hidden butterfly. <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't even know I shot it, but okay, I didn't... wasn't looking for any butterflies. Oh, there's one gem somewhere around here. Where is where is it at, Sparks? There's one stinking gem around here still. Well, that's good, because it did save my ass there. So I was at critical health. Uh, Sparks is still insisting that there's a gem somewhere in here, in this barn. Oh, here it is. It was hidden in the grass all the way in the corner. Okay, there we go. 100%. Very nice. Okay, so... Last one, Agent Nine's lab. This is it. The final countdown, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to party like it's 2024. Oh, 
Oh, hiya, Spyro. I'm just off to patrol the island again. You know, in case any Rhinox decide to come crawling back. Ah, Agent Nine, my favorite pupil. Welcome back to my island laboratory. I'm afraid Rhinox have taken over the entire island. Could you stop them before they destroy all my research? All right, so what do I got to do here again? Ninety-eight <laughs> percent. All right, so as Agent Nine, shoot down all the balloons. So the one thing I didn't do over here was um. Uh, he's gonna make me do this again, isn't he? It'll be just like old times. Try shooting these dummies to get warmed up, but uh, be careful. I think a Rhinoc might be hiding amongst them. Yeah, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't snipe all the uh, the boats because I couldn't figure out how to get over there. I should be able to do it now. number of Rhinox are waiting to ambush us as soon as I lower this force field. I expect they'll keep coming until you shoot the red panic button next to the door where they emerge. the end of this beach and Rhinox will keep coming out until you shoot the red panic button work your way up the beach by dodging and using the natural cover on the right you gonna watch and eat at the same time I take it Drake Law you already ate damn that was fast show that a bunch of Rhinox are hiding behind the display screen. I'll switch on the view pedestal and you shoot them as they attack. I recommend using your sniper mode. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, it was a pizza, okay. <laughs> yeah, that explains it then. They don't even attack you. You cleared them out. Let's see what kind of shape the machine room is in. I have. Okay. As I thought, the machine room is overrun with birds. To target... <laughs> okay, yep, I remember this. These damn birds. They look very grumpy. Grumpiest birds ever. Agent Nine, uh, I'm not sure if <laughs> now I can switch the graviton a bit.
The lab's clear, and it smells better in here already. Uh, follow me outside, where I expect we'll find some Rhinox wearing armor. You'll need a more powerful weapon to defeat them. Alright, this is where I get my bombs, right? Yep. By my calculations, the bombs in this handy vending machine should be highly... There we go. I just had to hit the control panel. That's all I had to do there. I don't know how the hell I wasn't able to figure that out earlier. I don't know what's going through here. Alright, so now I can take out these assholes. So I'm gonna need to go into snipper ripple mode. Really carefully time the shots. There we go. Close. They're all just spraying and praying, I think. Jesus, come on. There we go. There's only a couple left. Come on, it's only a matter of time, dude. Just do me a favor and just die. Just give it up, bro. Give it up. Run into one of my shots. There you go. Oh, hey, Dark. You're back, huh? Well, I'm about- you're just in time, because I am right about to 100% this game. Just gotta get 40 more gems here, and I gotta find the rest of the balloons, which is probably part of the 100%. Because I think that, yeah, there's a couple right there. This is it, guys. This is the last achievement. Trophy, whatever you want to call it. Gotta find the rest of those uh, balloons. I think that's the last one right there, is it not? It'll be. It'll be the last two. Oh, oh, yep, there we go. Party like it's 2024! Yes! There we go, very nice, right at 10.30. Sweet. There you go. We're partying like it's 2024. But there's still more to the game, because I still gotta... Yeah, so I got 100% here, because I still have to go through the rest of uh, Midnight Mountain. So yeah, you get 99% game completion. You don't actually have to 100% it to platinum the game, but you have to get like 99% completion to platinum the game. You have to do most of the stuff. <laughs> well, I didn't have to go through all those other levels and collect all the gems and all that stuff. I didn't have to, but... I wanted to, though. Red Claw says he's glad he didn't miss the Platinum Pop. Yeah, I'm happy about that, man. That's my 18th Platinum. I'm not even, like, a trophy hunter, but I just really wanted to Platinum this trilogy this year. I wanted to finally finish the last one. I specifically waited for this year. So, um... Dreadclaw, you're really good with this game, man. So what's the sh- it's a secret in the other two mystery trophies here. Or eggs, I mean. What's the stuff that I'm missing? 
Here's some gems over here. Oh, well, here's one. I don't know how I missed this. Yeah, because I only need just uh, just a few more gems and two more eggs. Just get the other mystery trophy. There are no other mystery trophies. That's it. The game is platinumed. I've got everything. I just need to get the other two eggs and the rest of the gems here so I can face off against the, the last fight against the sorceress. I'm surprised that's not a trophy. Defeat the sorceress a second time or whatever. That should be the last true trophy, but it's not, so... Yeah, I can see in the distance there. I need 149 eggs and 15,000 gems. Well, I have 14,974 gems and 147 eggs. Still missing sh it's a secret. Curious what that secret is. Sparks keeps pointing down, like there's something right beneath me. But I don't know what it could be. Can't, like, go in here, because that's toxic shit, so I don't know <laughs> what I can do about that. It's directly beneath me, right here. There's nothing down there. I don't see anything. Something like breakable wall there? No. There is... There's nothing, like, down there, though. What the hell does he want me to do? get up here and I have an amazing view of everything. Here's... Okay, there's another egg down there. Break the ice near the desert ruins entrance. Dump the floor. There's some breakable ice somewhere. Other than right here. Yeah, because I still gotta get the gems. Why did it say five of five on the eggs when there's six eggs here? Why did it tell me there was five of five? There's six eggs in this level. So near the, the desert ruins entrance. Let's see if I can even find where that was at. Or was that the ice you were talking about? Yeah, that, that was the ice you were talking about. Yeah, I just flew over there instead. <laughs> I saw it when I was flying up there. But, um... St 
stomp the floor. Stomp right here. Aha! Wonder why that area was there. Well, that's it. Yeah, this egg doesn't count. That egg doesn't count towards 100%. You see that? That's really weird. It didn't, like, count it towards 100%. It said, like, oh, you got 100% level completion. You got five of five eggs and all the gems. Uh, there are six eggs here. I just collected the last one. Now I've 100%ed it. 100% game completion. There you go. Midnight Mountain, 111%. What? What? Okay, that don't really make no sense, but okay. I mean, I needed to do that in order to get to the, uh, Sorceress. So now I should be able to fly over there. Super bonus round. Alright, let's see what the super bonus round is. Whoa, a secret egg. 5,000 gems here. Hey, you finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure, but after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. Oh, by the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. He's been tinkering with one of his new toys all day, and he wants to show it off. You should go see him. Here's the secret bonus world. Holy shit. Yes, I've always wanted worthless gems. <laughs> it's funny, you can't even really do anything with the gems, so... It's just a fun little thing to go and collect. You're like, oh, go, go collect more stuff if you want. Totally up to you if you want to or not. You don't need it for anything. It's like collecting the coins and, um, why. After you've already bought all the power-ups, it's like, eh, you're obsessed with collecting shit, go, go collect more, go steal more people's stuff and hoard treasure. It's fun. But totally unnecessary. Yes, precious, precious gems. It's all mine. We dragons, we love to hoard our treasure. 17,000 gems and this opens up. Okay, so there's a purpose to collecting some more. Oh shit, no! 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 <laughs> I almost made it. I almost made it. Uh, 
Ah, uh, shit. Oh no, guys, I've only got 27 lives remaining. I'm in grave danger now. Fuck, I think I confused him there. not quicker than a dragon, just give up. This one's 18,500 gems. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere around here. All over the place there's gems. There's another thief over there. more up there. Twenty thousand gems to open this up. I need all the gems in the game to open this. Okay. I'm really surprised this doesn't count towards the, uh, trophies, though. Like, you would think this would be, like, a final trophy, like, collect all 20,000 gems, or collect all 150 eggs. Even if you had to make it, like, a secret trophy, you know? I don't know, I'm just a little, I'm a little surprised by that. You would think, like, they would encourage you to get to this point, you know. But, they kind of don't. I mean, they for, for being nothing more than a bonus level, uh, this is pretty flushed out. There's a lot of shit here. so far. I can go into this one. Hey, there's Hunter. Hi, Spyro. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. <laughs> it was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Want to take my sub for a spin? All right. Great! Hop aboard! Well, we're definitely partying like it's 2024 now. Come on, lock on. Another one of these sub mini games. And they're all worth worth um a good amount of gems here. Okay.
Alright, so I got all the gems here. Yep. Pretty sure. The spark's going. He is kind of guiding me up there, but I think I got everything over there. Inside of there, anyway. Yeah, because he's not guiding me back over there. Yeah, I'm sure you probably get the super fly ability or something so I can take out these saucers here. Open this up, too. Another skateboarding area, huh? This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course. The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped-up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we'll get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I'll have to slick down the whole course with my tongue. So, ready to race? Let's do it. Right on. Just don't lose, or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle. <laughs> so he bet on me, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is... Whoa. And of course there are gems in this area, this whole area. Throughout the whole course there are more gems. What the hell? What happened? Now this is crazy. More focused on getting all the gems at the moment. Sorry, Hunter. Guess your tongue's gonna be a popsicle. <laughs> Poor Hunter. Well, what the hell? Why were they stuck at the start there? What was that about? You hate getting all the gems here? Yeah, no doubt. I can see why. There's one. There's another down there. I kind of have to dedicate one path and then go through the next path. Like every lap, change the path. Pretty much what you have to do. There's another gem up there. And of course you can't rely on sparks. And I can't really get up there. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Probably gonna be- oh shit, there's more gems down here. Hopefully I got them all. Am I not able to do tricks? What is the button to do the tricks? I can't even remember. Well, something like that. It's one of the... 500 buttons. Square? No. It's a triangle? No. O1, R2? No. 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 Okay. Right. Was it triangle? It's triangle plus circle plus left or right to do flips. What kind of fucking sense does that make? Right, let me quit out of this. So, right on. Jesus Christ. 
Christ. And of course, in order to actually, like, get anything worth it now, in terms of, like, points for boost, um, you kind of have to do, like, the triple flip. Yeah, the double ain't worth shit. What the fuck was that? What the hell? Nice glitch. Nice fucking glitch. So, ready to rip? Right on. Yeah, how come the triple flip is worth so many points? And then the double or the single isn't worth anything. I just filled half my trick bar in one flip. You do a double, you barely get anything. I just never understood that. It makes no sense. Why even bother having a single or a double flip then? It's worthless. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of these races. <laughs> Just not. Fucking suck. Physics are just not set up for this, like, at all. <laughs> They're just totally wrong. They're just all fucked up. gonna make a mini game like this. Like in Ratchet and Clank the controls actually work. In this one they don't. This is just terrible. I don't know why those guys get stuck at the start. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> it's so fucked up. It's so glitchy and I don't know why I didn't get any points for doing a triple flip that time. Oh my god, it's a mess. Well, this guy's boosting me pretty good. Well, until I fucking threw him off his skateboard. I've been kind of relying on him. He's just been giving me love taps the whole time. Yeah, don't let go of boost. Yeah, well, there's... You don't get anything. And see, that's what happens when I try to do the tricks. You can't really turn when you're doing a trick. And then you do a double flip, and you don't get anything. You do a triple flip, and it takes too long. So... Like... Terrible. You get nothing. This guy's stuck at the start. He's all glitched. <laughs> it's just a mess. This whole race is just a fucking mess. God, it's a disaster. What the fuck were they thinking? These guys are glitching out on each other now. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Alright, I'm in second now, somehow. Probably because these guys are all glitching out. just don't really function that well. It really doesn't.
What a mess. <laughs> it's just an absolute mess. Look, I'm getting stuck on the scenery here. It's the fuck just... Dude, I don't understand this, Drake Claw. Maybe it's a good thing this isn't tied to another trophy, because this is... This is clearly underdeveloped. This is definitely underdeveloped. This feels like it was just crammed in last second. Feels kind of like a like you're playing a beta, like a beta version. And they didn't get done bug testing it yet. It really is that bad. Like it's it's just too all over the place. The AI is getting stuck at the start randomly for no reason. Feels like I'm playing one of those Insomniac uh, museum levels in Ratchet and Clank. Like where they're showing off features that got cut in development. This is kind of like what that feels like I'm playing right now. Like this is one of those things that got cut. <laughs> they kind of crammed it in here. Just randomly. It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case, actually. That would make sense as to why it's all getting stuck on scenery and shit. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a mess. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more shot. If I can't do it, then fuck it, I'm out. This is just broken. Really don't want to do any more of this. Trying to like be super careful so I don't fuck the game up. Trying to stay like directly on the path. Trying to stay away from the AI so they don't glitch me out. Okay. <laughs> that still happens. The game still fucks up. It sends me flying into outer space randomly. There's nowhere to really do tricks, you can't really get any good speed here. What the fuck? That guy was- did you see that shit? That guy was out of bounds, and he teleported to the right. Did you see that shit? I'm telling you, dude, this is- this shit's in beta, bro. This is a beta course, I'm telling you. Which is fine, you know, but, I mean, my god, it's- now I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's, holy shit, it's a- it's an exercise in frustration is what it is. My god. I'm getting stuck on scenery randomly, it's- the AI keeps bugging out. I can't get anywhere to get, like, good speed. I'm just doing random shit. I don't know what's going on. What a mess. Yeah, I've had enough of this. Just, yeah. I think that's it. I think I'm done. Because <laughs> without going through all that, I don't think I can get all the gems here or whatever, right? You have to go through that. You have to go through the broken course. The submarine level was at least like it was finished. Just I guess they just decided it didn't fit in with the rest of the game, so they just threw it in there instead. Yeah, I think I have to go through it. I have to win the broken course. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry. But that's just frustrating as fuck. Not really too good at those races to begin with, but... On top of that, the whole course is broken. So, 
now. I mean, I'm sure if I tried it ten more times, I could eventually get it, but I really don't want to bother with that. I think I've seen everything there is to really see in the game. I think I'm good. I think I'm done. I got 108% game completion, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I 108%ed the game. Whatever, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Skill points. Oh, look, they actually show you all the skill points here. You have to win to... Yeah, well... If the course was actually functional, then maybe I would go through it, but... I really don't want to bother. That's just way too ridiculous. The whole thing's just a mess. I don't want to go through that again. So I guess that's gonna... I guess I'm gonna call it there at 108%. My goal was to 100% the game, and I've done that, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty cool, though. I like how now you can actually see all the skill points that you can get. It actually tells you what you have to do to get the skill points. Which was my main problem with Ratchet & Clank, is that it doesn't tell you how to get the skill points. It just randomly tells you, oh, you got a skill point. Well, okay, well, how do I get the next skill point? I don't know, figure it out. Do random stuff. Like, uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Unless I wanted to look up every single skill point in the game and how to get each one. That's why, that's why my trophy level on Ratchet & Clank is so low. It's not because I didn't, like, play a lot of Ratchet & Clank. It's just because I didn't want to bother trying to figure out each individual skill point. And the first Ratchet & Clank game on PS3, you have to do so many of them. It's just that, the UFOs in the final fight, oh, fucking hell. That's the last of it. So that's the only thing in there that's broken, then? Is that the only thing here that's, like, actually broken? Because I don't care what anybody says, that course is fucking broken. I refuse to believe it's anything more than a beta course that people, that the developers were like, yeah, we'll just put it randomly in here. Already put most of the time into it, so just didn't fit in with the rest of the game, or they ran out of time to finish it. I don't know. You gotta remember, this game was like finished in what, like a year? Like maybe not even that. So this was the submarine level. The submarine level was fine, that was totally functional. But yeah, okay. So, ready to race? You know, all of those two. Right on. Oh god. We're gonna be here a while, folks. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if the Oh my god, if the physics weren't all fucked up though. The physics are a fucking mess, the course is broken, the AI glitches out. I fucking hate this thing. This works so well in Ratchet and Clank 1, but in this it's a fucking mess. Can't even get any speed to hit those. As soon as you run out of boost, that's it. You're fucked. You can't even really do anything else. I don't give you enough things to, like, get points off of. And the stuff that they do give you is so fundamentally broken that I can't do it anyway. Oh, this is fucking stupid. So, right on. Sorry, I'm ranting. It's just this is really fucking annoying. Like, if you think I'm lying, like, go back and replay this. It's terrible. The rest of the courses weren't, like, broken like this. This one's just, like... Glitching out of the scenery, the AI's all fucked up.
I mean, were you... Uh, did it, didn't it feel like it was just not finished? You don't blame me for stopping? Yeah, it's just this one's just a mess. It just, it just definitely doesn't feel like it's finished. The problem, too, is like the physics for this game really aren't set up for this. Like, look at that shit. What just happened? Now I'm stuck. I'm, oh my, oh my fucking, now I'm riding on the ground. What, what in the fuck is happening? Now I'm all the way in fourth because of a bunch of random glitches all at, in succession. Rapid succession glitches. I love it. Oh man, this is... This is terrible. Kind of a shame too, because it looks like, I mean, if they had more development time, they probably could have made this into a really fun course. If they worked on the physics more, and they actually made things not all glitchy and fucked up. They had time to bug test things and actually work on it. This could probably be a really fun course. Got potential. Like, there are parts of it that are kind of fun, but... It's just too buggy. I should have fell off my board right there. It didn't even make sense. I was sideways when I landed on that snow there. God, this is a mess. Yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of just random randomness as to whether I'm gonna win or not. This just, just depends on the game. Does the game feel like fucking up right now, or am I gonna win? It really does feel like I'm playing just like an Insomniac Museum course from Ratchet & Clank. I need boost. Of course they don't give me anything. Of course. Good news is I... I think I got all the gems. I don't think there are any more here. I haven't seen any more. Ugh. Oh my god, this is a mess! Oh, thank yes. god, I don't have to do you that ever like again. Bunch of -eating, lead pants wearing glacier trolls you screwed it up in the remakes? On the no. We want some shiny stuff too. This plays exactly the same gameplay-wise. I don't think they changed anything with this, like in terms of physics or anything. The only thing they changed is the, um, unless maybe porting it over to Unreal Engine 4 somehow fucked it up, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, everything's exactly the same. They even said that if you, uh, programmed an AI to finish this game, like, if you programmed it for the original, it could play it in the remaster exactly the same. It would, the AI, even through learning the original games, it could play the remasters. I don't think that's the case. I think it's exactly the same. I think it was really just this broken in the original and in here. I think they just, they didn't finish the, the course and they decided to just throw it into a bonus level instead. It wouldn't be the first time they've done stuff like that. They've done that with Ratchet & Clank all the time. They do that quite often, actually. Insomniac Games, I mean. Wow. Holy shit.
That was a lot of treasure. Yeah, it should give me all that for having to put up with all that shit. It's awful. Never want to play that again. It's terrible. It's a shame, because it could have been so much fun if they had more time to work on it. To be fair, it was over 20 years ago for you, yeah. No, I get it. I'm sorry if I was ranting. It's just that really was just really, really frustrating. I hated that. Submarine level was fine. It wasn't really all that fun, but it was at least functional. That was, you know, just a mess. Okay, so how do I get to, um... How do I get to the section where I can... Where's the next section at? There's gotta be like a super fly place over here somewhere, right? Or am I supposed to just try and flame them all here? Here another egg thief. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Yep, now I can get him. Back here. Well, you get plenty enough time to do this. Very generous in the time. There's another one over here, and then I'll just have to hunt down the last one. Okay. There we go. I got all the gems. Twenty thousand. There you go. One more door. Is this the last one? Yup. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you! Your best chance of defeating her is my flying saucer. I've cast some spells to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time. The rest is up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her. I know I can too. Let's do it. Come here, you bitch.
Damn, I might actually beat her without taking a single hit. Doing better than I was the first time I fought her. You would think for the very last stage it would be harder than this. I got her. Yin Yang. Huh. Oh, there's a bonus cutscene. Very nice. I'm glad I stuck through. I didn't expect that to be a final bonus cutscene there. That was cute. And then they show the credits again. So that's the true ending right there. The true ending. Spyro finished his mission. He rescued all the dragons. He's a hero to his people. All that from a child dragon. Doing what even the adult dragons couldn't do, apparently. I like how all the all the other adult dragons just kind of sat around and <laughs> waited for Spyro to just do everything for them. So yeah, it was a pretty cool little bonus there. I mean, just unfortunate that that snowboarding course thing didn't work right, but... Yeah, awesome stuff. You can now say I have 100% of the trilogy. I think, uh, I think Spyro 3 was probably the longest. In terms of 100%ing. Um, you fail at playing the saucer. Yeah, it's, that was easy for me. As soon as you see her turn around and, uh, and start charging up her shot at you, you just gotta either quickly turn to the right or quickly turn to the left to dodge her shot. And then you just aim back towards her. lead your shot into her and a target slightly ahead of where she's flying into and she'll fly right into your shots. It was easy. At least for me it was, but that snowboarding course was a mess. <laughs> for me, I couldn't do that. I wasn't really good at the races to begin with though, so maybe you had an easier time with it, I don't know. You said you had a hard time getting the gems there. I had an easy time getting the gems, I had a hard time finishing the course. <laughs> Everything else there was a piece of cake. Even the final boss it was easy. I didn't even take a single hit. But, yeah, I enjoyed it though. I definitely enjoyed playing through this again. It's been so long since I played it, and I don't think I ever 120%ed it or whatever it was. It's kind of weird. Spyro 1, you can 120% complete. Spyro 2 is only 100%, and then Spyro 3 is 120%, right? I'll check after this. Let's see what the game total says.
Yeah, so I'm happy to uh, say that I've 100% of the series. At least the, the games that truly matter. The true Spyro games. You know, maybe I'll go through and play, um, what's that other one, uh, Enter the Dragonfly. Maybe I'll fire that up on my PS2. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of that. Revisit that game. With all of its cringy voice acting and glitchy gameplay. <laughs> the game that was made in like nine months certainly felt like it. it wasn't terrible I mean you could play it but it wasn't as good as the trilogy though and then there was that Skylanders which I mean that was just a oh my god the character design on that they really they really destroyed Spyro in that and then um, you had the uh, really odd games like the, the oddball ones like a hero's tale and I mean I know what they were doing they were trying to mix it up I mean I can I can respect what they were trying to do but I don't really think they succeeded that well and apparently the general public seemed to agree cuz after all those games those three or four games that was it apparently they didn't really sell that well or whatever I think the one that was making what was the one, uh, the last one they made, the Legend of Dragons or whatever it was called? The very last one, the one that came out in like 2008. I think they got, it was like, I think that kind of bankrupted them, didn't it? Because I heard it ended up becoming a pretty rare game. Not like a really rare game, but it was kind of rare. Because they didn't make that many copies of it because apparently it wasn't successful and put them out of business. Which sucks. I mean, I hate to see developers that are trying to do good stuff with, you know, trying their best, you know, to end up going the way of the dodo. It always sucks to see that. Pissed off at EA when they shut down Pandemic Studios. They made some of my favorite games too. Mercenaries 2 was a lot of fun. Even though it wasn't the most amazing game ever, it was pretty fun. And Destroy All Humans was a classic. I loved the first two Destroy All Humans games. Oh man. Rayclaw says, and yet the speedrunners can get the 337% in less than 9 hours. Yeah, well, I was taking my sweet ass time with it. I wasn't like rushing through it and doing glitches to glitching through the environment and glitching through the levels to get everything. Doing moves the developers never intended you to do. I was just playing through it the way the game was meant to be played. Very special thanks to Insomniac Games. Yeah, actually, I recently platinumed uh, Ratchet and Clank 3 as well. Up your arsenal. Super, a super special shout out to all original Spiral the Dragon team members who contributed to the original three games. Now that uh, Microsoft owns Activision, I wonder if they're gonna um, if they're gonna bring back some of the classic IPs. Phil Spencer kind of teased about that. I would like to see Prototype make a return. I think Prototype was an underrated series. Prototype one and two. Games were fun, even if they didn't like shake up the landscape of the gaming industry. They were fun. 
were good games. I'd be down for a Prototype 3. I would buy that. I would pre-order it. Absolutely. So that would be nice to see that, but... The only game, uh, the only upcoming games like I'm planning on getting is probably uh, Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown, if that game would ever fucking release. It's been delayed like three or four times. Um, and I want to get uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, obviously, so... You know, both of which are going to be on my Series S. You have Prototype 1 and 2? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, so got a nice little couple uh, bonus episodes for the playthrough here. I gotta update my playlist. It's been a while since I've updated my playlist. I gotta add a bunch of the Skyrim videos to my uh, to a playlist, and I gotta add a bunch of uh, I gotta create a Spyro 3 playlist. I haven't updated my playlist in a while. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm gonna update my playlist. And, uh, re definitely uh, check out the descriptions. I always add a description for all the uh, game playthroughs that I do for the play on the uh, playlist section. All the playthroughs that I've done in every playlist should have a uh, description for them. A very detailed description about the game, so you can read about the game and decide if it's something you want to watch or not. I do that for every game playthrough. Playlist description. And uh, the amazing thing is, all those descriptions were all generated by AI. I did not write them myself. I'm not. I can't take credit for that. But it, it definitely generates some amazing descriptions for games. I use uh, ChatGPT to generate my descriptions for the playlist. <laughs> Delante, first thing he says when he comes in here. Where's Sheldon? Um, I don't know. He's, again, he's probably busy, I don't know. I haven't seen him around in a while. But we got Dreadclaw in here tonight. And Dark Wizard's here. Sheldon has been missing? Yeah, okay, well, he's probably busy doing other stuff. Maybe he's out and about. I mean, it's Friday night. He could be running errands. He could be at work. He could be hanging out with family, friends. I don't know. He could be doing a number of different things. He's not here. go grab my tea. I'll be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Prince, I look at the Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, I think it's called, and it looks like a bad game when you compare it to the original Spyro. Well, it's not as good as the original Spyro Trilogy. That's for sure. It's not a bad game, though. I, I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, I did have fun with it when I played it as a kid. I enjoyed it. It's not like, oh man, I hate this game. No, it was okay. It's just not as good as the original trilogy. Rick Claw says, I really need to get a headset. I'd do an RE4 Classic All Trophies stream. Yeah, that would be cool to watch. I would definitely watch that. Yeah, you can get a headset pretty cheap. I mean, they're not they're not expensive. Just make sure you get one that's comfortable, you know. I got a couple of them. The trolls send me pizza and the idiots pay for it. Oh, nice, free pizza. Yeah, I'm, t I'm sure that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, who knows? Maybe um, maybe one day I'll end up getting docs, and then people can send me pizza. I'll take a free pizza. <laughs> I don't know why they think that's trolling. If anything, it's trolling the delivery driver and it's trolling the uh, pizza company. It ain't trolling me. I'll just eat your pizza right on the stream. As long as you're gonna be the one paying for it. I'll eat I'll eat a free pizza. Oh yeah. Pineapple and anchovies. Delayed it. I mean I would. Hey man, a pizza's a pizza, man. I ain't gonna let it go to waste. I'd much rather people do stuff like that than that stupid swatting shit. Which could actually end up getting somebody killed. Yeah, some people take this trolling stuff way too far, man. Way too far, way too serious, way too far. That's why I had to get away from all the trolls I was around. We're just taking it way too far, way too personal. It's gone on for way too long, too. Glad I got away from it. Alright, looks like this is the end of the, uh, uh, the credits. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few norks, but no sheep. Thank you for playing. Yeah, so exact same credit screen here, it looks like. Give you the same credit screen. They called the cops on you, but the, the group home already told the cops that they were harassing you. So nothing happened. Called the cops on you for what? I mean, what are they even gonna do? <laughs> like, you didn't even do anything, so... It's just considered a false report. Yeah, definitely stay away from all the, all that kind of people, man. You gotta stay away from people like that. All those drama hounds and shit, just stay away from them. Oh, so they, they did a welfare check on you, basically. Alright, so there we go. Takes me back right here to the rocket ship. Start of the level here. So, 
Okay, so <laughs> game total is 117%. So it's not a, it's not even 120%. It's a, it's 117%. 150 eggs, 20,000 out of 15,000 gems. And 111% for Midnight Mountain. Yeah, that's that's weird the way they did this, but there you go. Very weird. Six out of five eggs. Okay. So let's quit out of this. And yeah, there you go. So you got 120% for Spyro the Dragon. You got 100% for Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. And 117% for Spyro Year of the Dragon. But there you go. That is the end of my playthrough, officially, of Spyro Year of the Dragon. Still a fun game. Some nice little cool mini games and stuff. So that should, yep, that should put me at uh, trophy level 281 there. That's my 18th platinum. Good stuff. Now I've uh, completed the trilogy. 100%. So I'm going to end the recording here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm not ending the stream, but I'm ending the recording. I'm going to play something else, something random, do a little chill stream or something. So if you guys want to stick around for that, feel free. But I'm done playing Spyro, so... At least for a little while, I might check out uh, Enter the Dragonfly, revisit that game in, in the near future. We'll see. But for those watching on demand, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.